Hello, it's Kimberly Rutherford, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes today about laying a foundation for success and why it's important that we achieve our private successes before we can even begin to contemplate our public successes. I'm going to tell you um, just a little bit about the importance of foundation, and then I have two easy examples that I think everybody has heard these stories, and it will make sense to them that way. Uh, defining success is a personal matter. What you want is not the same as what everybody else wants, and we can do a whole other video on how to define when you are successful. But before the public success, whatever you choose, whether it's wealth or financial success or some public acknowledgement or celebrity, um, there'll be a lot of groundwork behind that. So foundations are vital. For many of us, it's um, education and knowledge. I think that probably should be uh, the, the strongest keystone of the foundation for anyone's success. But then it's also um, building habits, overcoming obstacles, uh, doing the behaviors you know that you're going to need to do before anybody knows that you're doing them, before they show any particular results, before you get the acclaim or whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, becoming the person who can create that sort of thing. So let me give you two really quick examples on how important foundation is and the, the prevalence of private before public success. One is a story that everybody knows. We've been hearing it for millennia. I'm sure we'll keep hearing it. And although it has connotations within a particular uh, set of beliefs, it has been adapted and adopted by virtually everyone, and that's, of course, the story of David and Goliath. Now, what's important about that, everybody can relate to David, the little guy, winning in the end, and that's what we all want. That's what we're all hoping for, right? But Goliath was not David's first rodeo, okay? He was out there tending sheep. He had to slay a number of lions and bears and other predators to keep his sheep safe. No one knew about that. He didn't become a big celebrity overnight because of that kind of thing. It was only when he got to the point of actually taking down Goliath that there were choirs, that there were parades, that there were fan clubs and everybody knew who David was. So David achieved his private successes on the path. They were the foundation for his public success. One other example, and I think this one also will probably resonate with a lot of people because we learned this in kindergarten or maybe pre-kindergarten. And that's um, that, that little rhyme that we were told, that your mind is a garden and your thoughts are the seeds. You can plant flowers or you can plant weeds. So the foundational lesson here, I think, is that we need to be planting those seeds. That's the private part of the success. We need to plant the seeds, water them, tend them, um, grow them into what we want them to be. So you're going to decide what you're going to plant, and then you're going to start tending that garden, which, as you know, in the beginning, just pretty much looks like a lot of dirt. Don't be disheartened. It has to be dirt before it can be flowers, before it can fruit. So don't worry about it. Nobody you see that has become the biggest next thing is at their first rodeo, okay? It's by practice. It's by laying the foundation. I hope you're all thinking about that today. I love to think and talk about this sort of thing. I'll put links below if you'd uh, like to find ways to reach me or maybe what I think is one of the very best libraries, and there's a library behind me, but one of the very best places that you can uh, hone your personal successes on the way to those great big public ones. Have a great day. Peace.